Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is subnetting. A subnet is a logical subdivision of IP network. The process of dividing a network into two or more networks is called subnetting. The main purpose of subnetting is to help relieve network congestion and improve network performance. Security is another benefit of subnetting. Besides, your network professor may test you about subnetting. Competir National Network Plus certification also expects you to know how to subnet. However, some textbooks make subnetting very complicated and confusing. In this video, I will use a very simple way, sunny way of subnetting. And after this video, you would find subnetting is not difficult at all. However, in order to understand subnetting, we do need some basic knowledge such as subnet mask, network ID, host ID, and broadcast ID. I put several uh, videos links below just in case you need them. One more point. This video is much longer than most of my other videos, so please bear with me. Let's uh, take a look at one example. One day your supervisor walks to you saying, here's network ID. Please create three separate networks or subnets for a coffee shop, Sunny Cafe. One is for the office, one is for the front desk and storage room, and one is for the public use. Your task is to list each subnet network ID, subnet mask, host ID range, the number of usable host IDs, and broadcast ID. I put this example below this video so you can copy to your document for your reference as we discuss the process of subnetting. First is first, let's build a table. This table is the most critical because once we build it, we can easily solve most subnetting questions. And this table has three rows. The first row is a subnet with nine numbers. We start with one, then two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight, and 256. The pattern is each number is a double of its previous number. Okay. The second row is a host. This row tells the number of total host IDs for each new subnet. Start with 256, then 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. The pattern is each number is half of its previous number, or the second row is the reverse order of the first row. You see, everyone can handle this, right? The third row is a sumness mask. We use shorthand format. Starting with 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Well, we are done. I call this table Sunny Subnetting Table or simply Sunny Table because it's a simple, sunny but a powerful table for subnetting and subnetting a subnet. Now we use Sunny Table to solve the a subnetting example mentioned above. 
Let's go back to the the question. You are giving a network ID 192.168.4.0 slash 24. Slash 24 is subnets mask. You are required to get three subnets. Three is the key keyword. Now look at the sunny table and try to find the three subnets in the first or in the top row. Of course, there's no exact three subnets, but four subnets are suitable because we can get four subnets and choose any three subnets for Sunny Cafe. So we choose four subnets, four. Let me circle the whole column, ignoring all other columns because we only use these three numbers and we can get all our answers just from this column or these three numbers 4, 64, and a slash 26. 4 means 4 subnets. 64 means each subnet, each new subnet will have 64 total host IDs including network ID and a broadcast ID. Slash 26 is the new subnet mask for all these four subnets. Well, let's list all these four subnets information. A network ID, subnet mask, host ID range, the number of usable host IDs, and broadcast ID. Let's find the first network ID. The first network ID is always the original network ID, which is 192.168.4.0. That's easy, right? I use red found to emphasize the last number because the first three numbers stay the same across the table. So please just focus on last number in red. We will get next network ID by simply adding 64 to its previous network ID. Therefore, the second network ID is 0 plus 64, which is 64. The third network ID would be 64 plus 64, which is 128. The fourth network ID is 128 plus 64, which is 192. Now, subnet mask for each subnet. Well, they are all slash 26. The original subnet mask is slash 24. We are done with the subnet mask column. Now let's list the number of usable host IDs. And we can also find the answer from the sunny table, which is 64. 64 is the total number of host IDs for each network or each subnet. But the first host ID is reserved for network ID and the last host ID is reserved for broadcast ID. Thus, the number of usable host ID is 64 minus 2, which is 62. Thus, we write down 62 for all four subnets. We are done with the fourth column. Now let's look at the broadcast ID for each subnet. Keep in mind, the last host ID is reserved for its broadcast ID. Therefore, broadcast ID for the first subnet is 63. And we can tell with the reference to the next network ID, 64. Next broadcast ID is 127. 
Next one is one ninety one, and the last broadcast ID is two five five. We can say the broadcast ID equals next subnet's network's ID minus one. We can also do like this. Once you know the first broadcast ID sixty three, and then you can simply add. Sixty-four to get the second broadcast ID, and sixty-three plus sixty-four is one twenty-seven, and then add sixty-four to one twenty-seven, which we get the third broadcast ID one ninety-one, and then increase by sixty-four again to get the fourth broadcast ID, which is two five five. We are almost done. One last column. The host ID range. A subnet host ID range is is any IDs between its network ID and broadcast ID. For the first subnet, one two sixty two is between network ID zero and broadcast ID sixty three. The second host ID range. Sixty-five to one twenty-six is between sixty-four and one twenty-seven. The third host ID range, one twenty-nine to one ninety, is between one twenty-eight and one ninety-one. The fourth host ID range is between one ninety-two and two five five, which is one ninety-three to two fifty-four. So to keep simple, we only talk about the last number, and because the first three numbers stay the same, that's all. We get all answers. You can assign any three out of four subnets for Sunny Cafe. One subnet is wasted, of course. That's the downsides of subnetting. No biggie. I want to thank you for following me at this point. You are a very patient person for listening to me with my strong English accent. Even though the process sounds tedious, but once you get to know how to do it, you can solve any similar questions in no time. I put one similar question below for your practice. I also provide the answer below for your reference. If you have questions, please feel free to leave your comments or ask me questions. I would be happy to help you. In next video, I will go one step further, subnetting a subnet using the same sunny table in same sunny way. Please stay tuned. Thank you very much, and see you next time.